this wasn't a project that kind of landed on your desk. It was a movie that you wanted to make, um, and you wanted specifically not only to make a movie about slavery, but I think a movie about somebody who passes from being a free person into slavery. Were those, were those ideas, uh, did they come about at the same time, or was, did one precede the other about the origins of the kind of story you wanted to tell? And I started working with John Ridley with this idea. Um, and at some point, it was, we were stumbling. Um, and then my wife said to me, who's a historian, well, why don't you look into true accounts of slavery, which is the obvious thing to do, I suppose. But at the time, you're so, you know, you're so focused on this thing, trying to fig figure it out, that you, you're, sometimes you're a bit blind. Anyway, myself and her did the research, and she found this book called 12 Years a Slave. Um, and she said to me, uh, I think I got it. And it was a, if ever there was a, an understatement, that, that, that was it. And it landed in my hand. And you know, it's like one of those things, sometimes I think you can actually be a magnet. You want something so bad, actually, it, it, it comes to you. And there was my script for the, an idea. And I, I couldn't believe it. Um, and I read it, as I said before. Um, and every page was, was a revelation. Every single page. I couldn't believe it. Now, of course, when I got to the end of it, as I said before, I was very upset with myself. I was actually mad at myself for not knowing this, this material. But then I realized, slowly and surely, no one I knew knew this book. And living in Amsterdam, you know, as I said before, um, you grew up, and not even in Amsterdam, in the world, you grew up with Anne Frank's diary. It's everywhere. Um, and, and this first-hand account of uh, a, a, a person who, who, was in, who was in an occupied city um, and hiding from Nazis was just such a, obviously, it's, 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 it's ingrained in your book as a, as a child. But me reading 12 Years a Slave, written 97 years before, was, as, was equally uh, as gripping and uh, uh, an alarm bell, a rallying call for, you know, and, and it, this should never happen again. So with that, that, that became my passion to make this book in, 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 into a film. I was born a free man, lived with my family in New York. Be good for your mother. Until the day I was deceived. To Solomon. Kidnapped, sold into slavery. His book, his work, his, his, uh, his, his poetic narrative that is, has humility, that has uh, th uh, this incredible beauty, that has that he writes the year that he gets out, and uh, and so draws um, in a in a way uh, a, a kind of pure description of what he experienced is a, a kind of portal, you know, it's a gift from 1853 to the modern world, and uh, and uh, and talks about the the entire society in a way that we can all recognize ourselves, you know. Uh, because he talks about people, you know, humanity, and um, and uh, and that, of course, was the 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 real kind of the touch point for me was uh, was Solomon getting c as close to Solomon as I could, understanding him as much as I could. He, I think, he was an incredibly special individual, who um, who was able to process the situation to survive it with his mind intact because he had a certain worldview, a love of life. He had what we all possess, of course, which is this incredible love of family, but he also was able to figure this out. This is one story, there are a million stories, you know, uh, of, um, you know uh, of what happened and what people went through and, um, and uh, in very different ways. Um, and that was important just to find an overall sense of the place and, and the time and the experience. Days ago, I was with my family in my home. Now you tell me all is lost. Tell no one who I am. That's the way to survive. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to live. The, the lasting thing was that sense of, uh, of privilege at, uh, at, the, at the opportunity to tell Solomon's story uh, to try and uh, sort of walk with him a little bit.